Good evening, everybody. It's LSP. It's currently the 19th of May, 2022. Going to do a post uh, New York Open uh, review of Bitcoin. I'm mainly going to focus on Bitcoin and I'm not going to stay too long. Just wanted to kind of uh, discuss this little bit of a move to the upside. You can see that again, price is still maintaining this consolidation around about sort of here, um, bouncing back and forth between the high and the low. Um, I think the longer it stays here, the more liquidity is building up above and below the consolidation. At some point, Bitcoin is going to run one way or the other. Uh, at the moment, there's no real telltale sign. I mean, if we drop down to the hourly chart and just look at the consolidation itself, it's pretty uniform. You can see that this high was taken by this move here, but then it came back into the consolidation. You know, and it's at this point you could say, well, it's stabilizing. It looks like it's creating some sort of a higher low on the hourly chart which I don't really add too much weight to. There was a nice pickup of buy side here, then it went again. If it was going to run into the 32 to 36,000, which is what we're looking for at the moment, at least to slow things down before a potential run lower, if that's what wants, you know, if, if that's what's going to happen, it would have happened here. This was the perfect opportunity for Bitcoin to really start to go take out this high and just reach for higher liquidity over here. That's simply not the case and that's not what's happened. Instead, what we're finding is prices just slowly bled, you know, and reached for liquidity over here, stabilized ever so slightly, absorbed all the liquidity here now, and then started to run to the upside um, just to, you know, kind of clean up a few things on the upside. One thing that we have to be very mindful of, okay, this is on the hourly chart, so I don't add too much weight to this, but it, we see the same thing on, uh, on the four hour. Any liquidity that was here, okay, has been absorbed completely. So if Bitcoin starts to run lower, okay, these two lows, this one and this one, okay, are likely to be traded straight through and price is going to be reaching for lower level liquidity. My guess, and this is an educated guess, would be here. Okay, so we're looking at at least 26, sorry, 28,000 give or take on the next run down, if that's what happens, right? And we're getting a little bit sort of, you know, um, deeper fractal in terms of, you know, the nature of price and how it kind of moves. Um, but the point being, I know, obviously, we're, if we're, what I'm trying to get at is if we're bouncing between a range of 29,000 and 31,000, what difference is it going to make if it goes to 28,000 and then go straight back into the consolidation? The point being, and this is what we want to pay the most attention to is the liquidity that is being absorbed in these areas tells us whether or not price is reaching for a much larger liquidity pool lower or a much larger liquidity pool higher. And the way in which price behaves, acts around these liquidity pools, these imbalances, you know, the opposing pools and so on, tells us what could potentially unfold going forward. Um, personally, I think we're stabilizing in this area to accumulate Bitcoin, um, not necessarily to the buy side. I think there is a lot of Bitcoin being accumulated down here. I think I think much of it's, a, you know, well, I'll say much of it. I think a good portion of it is OTC. This is why we're not seeing the effect on the chart. We're just seeing the residual effect of little tidbits of news here and there, of these big institutions, you know, piling into Bitcoin. Um, but the market movement itself isn't being driven by these huge, huge amounts of accumulated Bitcoin because they're, you know, predominantly OTC. So we just have to be patient, wait. You know, we're looking for very fine cracks in price, you know, and so far it seems to be a pretty solid consolidation, pretty solid accumulation. If we drop down to the 15 minute chart just to kind of see how this is all uh, moving around, we don't really see it. I mean, I'm not seeing anything like that. That gives me confidence to say, yeah, this is going one way, or, you know, one way or another. The full consolidation basically from this point all the way to this point, and we just take this entire section of price action here, it looks no different to the hourly, looks no different to the four hour. There's no real point here where we can say, you know, maybe this section of price action is a real dead giveaway. That price has just picked up a huge amount of buy side liquidity or a huge amount of sell side liquidity. And then we expect that move a little bit further, you know, further down the line. We're not seeing anything like that. And if you can't see it, on at least two or three time frames, it's simply not there. Um, and it's a question of being patient, you know, and, and just chilling and waiting for something to, you know, to confirm itself. And to reiterate what I've just said, I like to see confirmation on at least two two time frames, and those two time frames have to confirm a higher time frame bias. If that doesn't happen, then I take a step back and I just, you know, 
um, let the market kind of unfold and, and, and wait for these confirmational sort of snapshots um, before I make a decision as to whether or not price is going up or down. But ultimately, you know, understanding the language of price isn't easy. Uh, again, it's a representation of the whole. It's a representation of something that's happening market wide. You know, and it's certainly not patterns and it's certainly not about this over here, the price itself. So patience, caution still advised. Um, and I'm sure at some point we're going to see some movement that is, you know, either favorable or not. And if it's not, I prefer it to just get it out of the way. Snap down to 20,000, just put us all out of our misery, do whatever you're going to do. And then let's see Bitcoin start running for that next huge run. And with that said, guys, I hope everyone's having an absolutely fantastic evening and I look forward to speaking to you in the next update. All the best. Take care. Ciao, ciao.